Hello. Hello. Going to work. Friday night, 6.57. I'm going to work. So fucking awesome. So great. What a fucking shit fucking existence. <sighs> This right here is the epitome of my fucking life. Always dark. Always doing a shitty job. Darkness Falls. That would be the name of my fucking autobiography. Okay. Alright, so anyways, on a lighter note, we had some good videos this weekend. Separate Ways was... That is the poster video for Friday Night Video Fights. The actual 1980s vehicle from MTV. Separate ways, I guarantee you, went a long way was in those um, in those days. I think it was like king for many weeks. Whether it was put up against Def Leppard, Quiet Riot, uh, whatever. Billy Idol, I think separate ways, um, won a lot, he really did, okay, let's get to these videos, I really, really, seriously wanted to pick Glenn Fry. that song is so good and so underrated, I watched that video first, I'm like, yeah, picking this, but after watching separate ways, it's like saying, I really want um, the Chargers to win. I really want them, but they played the Patriots, and the, the Patriots are just better. Um, Jesus. Okay, let's go to Glenn Fry first. Uh, Glenn Fry is that the guy that's dead? Because I know he's an Eagle. And who's the guy that sang "Boys of Summer"? Henley. I think Glenn Fry passed away, if I'm not mistaken. So to see him there, like so young and upbeat and healthy, it was nice. Um, that video was really good. Uh, Jesus, so good, so good. The, the um, Beverly Hills Cop, Beverly Hills Cop um, clips were great. Wasn't too many. That's a thing. Some videos back in those days, it was 95% of just video clips. But this was just a little bit, just a little taste of it. I remember um, Victor Maitland was the name of the, uh, the the villain in that movie. The guy with the big cyst on his forehead. He was a great villain. I remember the, um, the chick, the good chick, um, the daughter of someone who was killed. How hot was she? Like, I'm surprised she never became a big star. I thought back then, even looking now, she was a smoke show. Eddie Murphy was probably the most popular actor slash or just entertainer in the 80s. I mean, he did it all. He even sang. But uh, the Beverly Hills Cop movies made, really, I think, put him on the map as a, um, a good actor. Anyways, get, getting away from that. Um, what else I have to say about that? Eh, I, I like the guy in the in the uh, editing room. Right? That what he was doing the editing. How he got into the song at the end. Uh, that, vi that video was great. It was so good. A lot of passion and uh, a great song. I'm thinking about downloading that one. Maybe not, but maybe I will. I don't know. The beat in there is so good. Let's go to separate ways. Again, I'm thinking. I'm picking Glenn Fry. There's so much to say about Separate Ways. I remember, I know Jim knows him, but Derek Demore's cousin, Deshane Demore, was on our bowling team. I think it was 2012-ish. And he is, he was born in 85. I remember having a talk with him, so he was quite a bit younger than us. He's like 34 now. So he might have seven years ago, he was 27. I remember him showing me the video, like, have you ever seen his video? Like, you've shown me on YouTube? I'm like, of course. Him and his friends were, like, amazed by that video. They, they were laughing at it. They were just... The whole thing when they were um, playing the um, the wind instruments, but there weren't instruments, instruments there, and the close-ups of all those guys. Like, that era, 
that generation of kids thought it was a joke. That video was a joke to them. But they also appreciated it and respected it. That's the vibe I got from him on that. And I'm thinking, well, you know what? It was kind of corny. And it was corny. But watching it again, and you go back to 1982, talk about passion. Those guys in that video were so into it. Every clip was awesome. The amount of um, just the looks on their faces, like, and, and how did they not feel terrible, stupid, and corny, and awkward, just knowing they were lip syncing, but they were so passionate about it, and uh, I, looking back, seeing the whole thing now, it's fantastic, and the song is good, a lot of energy in that song, the girl walking, um, I know she, she was considered pretty hot back then. I guess she still was a little bit. Steve Perry, uh, people were, I don't know, maybe it was Jim or maybe it's like the, one of the best voices ever. I have to agree with that. And then there's, uh, who was the, the, the two guys? Is, was it Neil Sean? The, the, the girl, the guy with the perm? Neil something, Sean maybe. And then there was the, um, the good looking guy who looked like um, Face from the A team. But then there's the other two dirty, shitty, smelly-looking guys. The one that looked like Bill Call with the fucking sunglasses, and then the dirty one on the drums. But that one part in the drums... Oh, so good. So good. You're so into it. Uh, like I said, once again, I wanted to pick Len Fry, but I can't. I gotta pick Journey. But Journey's my winner. But that is... That is such a good, a good video and good song so much going on. It was terrible and great. Passion. Just fucking good. So that's my review on that. Uh, so good picks, Don. And Journey is my winner. Uh, what's going on? Hey, uh, I'm working. There's a guy on vacation, so I had to pick up three nights this week. I worked in Pennsylvania, which I'll tell you, I liked it there a lot. A lot. They talked about me going there to be permanent. Um, I just can't. How the hell can I? I got. You know what? I'll tell you what. If Jacob wasn't around, the decision would be easier to move to Pennsylvania, but because my kids are pretty much grown. Um, Josh might keep me back here anyway. He's like, I'm so close to him. And, uh, and his mom and dad. His mom and dad was very um, instrumental in my life still, so I can't do it, but um, made me think a little, but it was a great time in Pennsylvania, the casino was great, everything was uh, paid for, and, uh, whatever, I know everybody paints a great picture when they're trying to recruit to do something, but um, I mean, it is what it is, uh, anything else going on, oh, the baseball playoffs, you know, same, um, same theme as my video pick. I really wanted Tampa to win, but Houston's just better. And the Houston and the Yanks series, I can't stand either fan base at all. Not even a little bit, except for Mom and Dad. So I'm rooting for the Yankees for Mom and Dad. But I hope this series is as good as it's supposed to be. Don, you got to be so excited about the Nats. Um, and they got a really good chance, I think, against St. Louis... I'm thinking St. Louis is home, right? Because they won their division. Um, so it's going to be a tough one. And uh, I don't know, though. Nats got the, the better starting pitching. Not too much, not too sure about anything else on those teams, to be honest with you. I know the lineups are pretty about even. Anyway, that's about that. We've got Redskins and Dolphins this week, which is hilarious. Two of the worst teams in football. And I just remember 1982, back then, 1982, Redskins, Dolphins, Super Bowl, Joe Theismann, uh, David Woodley, I think, was Miami's running back. I remember that game so clearly, watching it with Grandpa in Colonial Apartments, and then fucking Joe Link coming in, making, some, making a fucking cameo, like, third quarter. Shit that you remember. Anyway, that's about it. Joe Link put that guy in the fucking uh, the FNVF Friday Night Video Fight fucking 
thing of names, Joel Link. That's a good name. I guess that's it, guys. Have a good weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you next week for Jay's Picks. Later.